I have mentioned before that Cribbon is my favourite mountain peak in the Breckens in South Wales. Today I have the weekend cleared and a plan to make a solo trip up to the summit for a wild camp out right on the very top. The weather forecast is mixed and so I'm not expecting the views to be as spectacular as they have been on other recent trips to these parts, but the usual Welsh mist will add a different dimension to the trip. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. My trek out today begins at the little village of Langfreinach, a couple of miles southeast of Brecon. I found a parking spot on the through road next to the church and then spotted the closed pub, the converted phone box to be a small library and a picturesque bridge over the river on my way out, heading south to pick up the trail towards Cribbon. The first kilometre of this route is unfortunately along the back lanes, but it does get the distance covered quickly and I can gain some height with only a little effort. Turning left, I took the narrow lane which leads directly on to pick up the ridge path up and over Bryn. This ford is marked on the 1 to 25,000 map at 073247, just southeast of Tregia Farm. It's amazing what you can come across. Nice old knobbly oak have no idea how old it is, but its girth is just enormous. I don't think three people could put their, three or four people could put their arms around it and hold hands. A little bit more traipsing up this uh, farm track is necessary. Not the greatest part of the journey, but necessary. Cuts the corner off and it's easy to gain height. Just after passing through the farmstead's high line wall, I stop for a quick lunch of soup. I cheat with heating up soup these days. A big soup with the paper label removed is easy to heat up on the tranger slowly with the can balanced on my titanium tongs. And just look what's fallen out my rucksack. Some custard for later on. And when I'm done, the tin is light and crushes down to a flat piece easily enough. Mm -hmm. 
The trail up to the high point on Bryn is easy going with broad grassy areas bordered with tufty golden heather. Up ahead, I can see the low cloud is masking the summit peaks, but for the time being, I've got good views around in front and back over behind me all around the valley. The top of Bryn at 561 metres is just off the main route over the ridge, but I could hardly pass by it, so I curve left off the path to tick off the peak. From this point, the height gain is quite steady and continuing about 20 degrees west of south for a further three kilometres. I was heading straight for the connection with the rim path that follows the plateau edge around to Fanny Big. At about 057206, the path diverges with one continuing south and the path heading round the rim to Fanny Big. The path here is being strengthened to reduce the effect of wear from boots and water. These bags weren't here last time I came past this way earlier in the year. These guys are planning on camping out tonight too, but are wanting to push on a little further than me tonight. I didn't see them again. If either of you catch my video here, please comment. I hope you had a good night out on the summit. I've been around here several times recently, but each time is slightly different with the changing views and the atmosphere generated by the clouds. Finally, after several hours of hiking up, I've reached the diving board rock. I have to have another few minutes here with the camera. I just have to, of course. The next section is a bit more of a chore really. It's a lovely part of the route, it's just that I've done it so many times before, and even quite recently. No matter, my target for the night is just up ahead, so let's push on. The glimpses of the great views ahead and around to the valley falling away to the right are so atmospheric. The mist and the swirling clouds makes the area eerie as the light begins to fade for the afternoon.
I have found my targeted spot for my tent right on the top of Cribbon. The tent pitch location I've chosen is close to the edge but safe. It's going to be a bit fresh overnight but not too bad and no problem for my Helleberg Acto tent of course. As the light fades I open a beer, prepared my simple meal and got ready for a night in the tent. Ah here we go again, the custard is sneaking into view. I've had a relaxing night out, no dramas and I stayed plenty warm enough with my extra layers on. The frozen water droplets on the tent brushes off easily when I pack up and it was all sorted after a quick breakfast in just under 45 minutes. I try and push on a bit in the morning, partly because I don't want to waste time, but otherwise it's a good way to warm up in the morning and get the limbs and joints active again. My route down and back to the car is directly off the summit, northeasterly down the ridge path of Bren Teg. To begin the descent I've had to drop some height down this scrambly route, easily enough really, but the swirling mist adds a little extra to the start of the day. After the first steeper down section, the remainder is quite steady along the ridge top. Navigation is easy, just follow the ridge path even without being able to see very far, it's okay. Crossing through the 550 metre contour, I break out of the low cloud and mist and able to look ahead over the lower broad valley with Brecon in the distance.
The path just keeps going down, easily over the grassy ridge at this point. I'm aiming for the corner of this area where there's a wall track which rises up to meet the high wall line. The National Trust sign labels the path to the rising valley of this name just to the east of the ridge path here. I'm hoping that my mate Neil and I will be back to this area later this autumn and I plan to retrace part of the route back up to Cribben and then on round further north. We shall see. Look out for a later video. The way down further is via this very narrow old track bordered by stone walls. Right at the end of this video here, I'll link to other videos in the Linley's channel. Do take a look at one of these if you have time. It would be great if you gave the video a thumbs up as well. It all helps to keep my channel ticking along. Thank you. After about a kilometre, I'm then on the back roads again with, sadly, a further three kilometres of tarmac bashing to endure. Not great, but at least it's easy. The finger post confirms that I'm finally just half a mile away from my car, parked at the village of Langfreinach. Back at the car, it didn't take long to find my way down to Pensilly to enjoy a pint in the garden of the Royal Oak. The garden backs on to the Brecon Canal. With this being a Sunday and then a work day for me tomorrow, I need to get going again back on the M4 on my way home before it's too late. Thanks for watching and bye for now.